pangaya, pangia? Oh no, I'm Kenyan, do you get me? We'll just make that waist look... I like that it's denim and that it's thick and that it's warm and that it's food baby appropriate. So do you say Dara or Dira? I said Dara. No need for any kind of sophisticated underwear solution. You let me just preface this video by saying I'm going to be featuring a lot of balloon sleeves. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendia and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you always tune in, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate your support. I am back with a little clothing haul. These are items that I have picked up from different, different stores. I will link all of them in the description box. It would really, really help me if you could smash the like button and follow me on Instagram as well because this is where I'll be styling them. And without further ado, I give you three seconds to smash the like button and push the boat. Subscribe as well, join the family, absolutely free of charge and we would love to have you here. Let's get straight into the haul. Um, for reference, I am five foot two and a half. Um, I will mention the sizing and the stores that I got the items. The first item I'd like to talk about is this pair of jogging bottoms. I got this off of H&M. It's part of the Simone Rocha collection. I hope I've pronounced that properly. It's got an elasticated band. It's got pockets and it's got a hard seam at the front just to smarten it up. The thing is, they, they look like smart trousers, but they're actually jogging bottoms. The elasticated band gives you that comfort that you need. And the way it's been designed is quite a smart fitting pair of jogging bottoms. So you can um, style them up or casual them down, depending on what you want to do or how you want to style them. I will show you a clip of how I style them. You can go how you want to go, you know. This gives you versatility. This is a versatility type of piece. Let me just preface this video by saying I'm going to be featuring a lot of balloon sleeves. I'm going to start with this Isabel Morant inspired dress. I got the white one. I think I featured it in my last haul. Uh, I liked it so much I went for the black one. It's cuffed, balloon sleeve, and I would say it's a little, just a little above the knee depending on your height. But yeah, H&M, I got this in a size medium. I got the trousers also in a size medium, by the way. And there's a white one. I will link both of them down below. They're very, very pretty, easy to wear. You don't have to overthink your underwear. This lighting is all over the place. Um, next, we've got this H&M dress. I liked it because I'm not really um, a pattern or... A pattern person I normally like my plain colors but I just thought this was not offensive the black backdrop kind of gave it something it's got a belt which you can cinch into the waist I like this because um, it's jersey material and with my big boobs um, it can fit quite comfortably and it's got a split as well I got this in a size medium as well so yeah um this is my this is the only print that I have in my um, in my collection, if you don't count the Deras, do you say Dara or Dira? I said Dara, and that's the like a dress that you would pit on when you're in the house relaxing. But I thought I'd dip my toes into print and get this, and I think it's quite nice and quite comfortable and easy to style. Um, I styled this with flats. I'm always in flats, let's be honest, they're the most comfortable thing. The next piece I want to talk about is another balloon sleeve dress. This is a denim dress. I got this off of um, ASOS. It's got some detail, I don't know if you can see that, on the sleeve and then it's got that little tie detail as well. The back ties in as well. Very very cute. It looks like that. It's high neck as well and it's got this little frill detailing around the neck. I think it would look awesome with a bun although my hair is always in cornrows, just natural hair, a bun with a little, I don't know, it, it would just look really, really good. I like that it's denim and that it's thick and that it's warm and that it's food baby appropriate. So no need for any kind of sophisticated underwear solution. You can just let your stomach breathe in peace, basically. If I didn't mention it, I got that in a size 10. Then we'll move over to this dress. Um, this is a nasty girl dress. 
I got this is in a size 14 purely because I have a big bust. I am a 34 F and I didn't want the top because the top is quite um, snug fitting. I didn't want it squishing my boobs and giving that giving my boobs the illusion that they're actually bigger. I don't need that. Um, it's quite long, maxi considering my height. It's maxi length. It's got pleats. It's got the zip detailing at the back. You don't have to overthink your underwear situation. Any bra will do. Because it's white, I tend I, I styled it with like a very nice printed bra. Not that you could see it in the pictures, but if if it had that element of see-throughness, which I don't think it does because it's a hundred percent cotton, you don't have to worry about about um your bra being seen. And if it is, it's a nice cute bra, so what's up? You, you look pretty from head to toe. I styled this with a, a Zara belt, but I think a thin brown one would just make that waist look, you know. And yeah, and a, a pair of slip-ons. I think that looks quite cute. But if you wanna go ham, Air Force Ones, no problem. Flip-flops, no problem. Depending, you know, the world is your oyster. You can do what it, you can style the dress however you want. It's 100% cotton, by the way. 100% cotton items are really hitting the markers for me because I believe they will last longer. I could be wrong. But looking after them is another kettle of fish. We'll talk about that later. Listen, if you're in the UK and you look outside, I can bet your little cotton socks, it's either hailing, it's raining, there's some sun, but you could have that all in one day or in 30 minutes. So. Have you put away your winter clothes? Don't bother. Right now, I know I'm wearing a lot of brown, but this is another tracksuit um, I, I, I got. I know people have been wear, buying their Pangaya, Pangaea. Oh no, I'm Kenyan, do you get me? Um, this is from her muse. It's a brown set. It's crew neck. It's got a little, the little brand there, her. Um, stay, tr stay true to size. I got this in a medium. I like the bottoms because the calf is long and if you're wearing some nice trainers or some sh some nice shoes, it gives them that space. It's just designed well. Um, brown, 100% cotton. The joggers came from Ham Muse, which is a brand by Karis, who is Welsh, so support women. Anyway, nice jogger set. Brown is my nude, so very on season, very tasteful and anyway who can say no to brown right now tell me tell me tell me next the pièce de résistance let me stop messing about anyway next item the most exciting item i have bought in god knows how long is a pair of dungarees i've had a dungarees all my life my dad bought me a pair of dungarees and the love affair started then so i was eyeing the dungarees in next next own brand but i wasn't convinced so i did what i had to do i checked in charity shops then i checked on depop so um i got this without further ado they're tommy hilfiger they've got the branding at the back as well and i checked everything from the buttons to everything is tommy hilfiger i liked this ones a lot the reasons this one's one of um the next ones were well, because they're not that they're wide but they're not that wide at the bottom so I styled them up with some Air Force Ones um, and a white t-shirt black t-shirt brown t-shirt this one as well you're good to go you're just gonna look sharp and I was watching prison break the other day and there was an old man when they were going to look for the money at the ranch and he had a pair of dungarees and I just thought he looked amazing so yeah, I got this off of Depop. I'm really sorry I don't have a link to these exact ones. I've seen ASOS have other types of um, heel figure dungarees. I will link the next ones and I will link the ones that I've seen on ASOS. But these ones were a Depop find. And you know with Depop, it's if you get lucky, you get the one. But I did see a few dungarees on Depop that I quite liked. But because I have a big bum... They didn't convince me. This one's convinced me and they fit as, as they fit, they fit good. Listen, another brown item. I know, but brown is my nude. And 
Have you looked outside? It's cold. You need a coat or a blazer. And you can never go wrong with blazers. Anyway, I got this off of Zara, off of Depop. Um, I looked at it when uh, it launched last season and it was going for about £59. I copped the middle, the medium. It wasn't fitting as well as I'd like because I told you I have big boobs. And then I didn't, I didn't bother um, ordering the size up. So I waited and waited. And as you go, as you do, I went on Depop. And this was about £26, which is what they, they when they, they when Zara reduced the prices of the blazers, that's how much they were. But there was no size large, so I just took my time. Most of the people, most of the influencers will tend to buy items and resell them after maybe a way or two. So this is quite literally brand new. And yeah, it's a Zara, it's a Zara item. The other day, Miles was clearing out the loft. We had clothes that were like seven years plus, and he came across this coat. And he got this, I think his father got this coat, bought him this coat when he was about 16, 17. So in my books, this is vintage. This is an extra large foxhole. I don't even know if the brand exists anymore, but I liked the fit of it. I don't have a black, I have a puffer, black puffer coat. I don't have a black decent coat. I like this because it's got a hoodie and it is extra large and it was from a brand called Foxhole. This is how it looks. It's got that detail on the sleeve. I, I, this feels like a winter haul, but I promise it's not. But anyway, considering I am a neutral minimalist, these are the colours I'd be wearing from December, January to December. Do you get me? The camera now is going to go nuts. I wanted to show you guys this robe. This is a robe that Miles bought when we were dating. 2006, 2007. And it's been in the loft. I zhuzhed it up with the... I'll put, I'll put the item on screen. But if you have whites and you're struggling, if you want to get them brighter, this is what you need. It actually does work. So it was looking a bit uh, unloved. We soaked, we soaked it, fired it in the washing machine, and it's back to being new, basically. Arlo took, took it because Arlo wants to be Gandalf the White, but it's literally a very, very huge white robe that we got from the loft. I've been shopping from the loft. Actually, the final item is this pair of shorts. I got this from um, Primark, and it was about three pounds. It's just a pair of shorts. I got it in a size 12 to 14 and it's for working out and it's written I think breathe so I've got two pairs of shoes and that will be pretty much it I got this pair of Birkenstock inspired shoes from H&M they were 15 pounds I thought about buying the Birkenstock shoes from Amazon but the cost per wear considering the country I am in I wouldn't justify that amount so I just went for the dupes and this were I got them in a size 4 and this were 15 pounds. I also got a pair of uh, slip-ons. Are they called slip-ons? Whatever they're called. I got them off of Zara. I know people really like the Gucci ones, but, the, but then again, cost per wear. I live in Wales. It rains nearly all the time. So I just thought, let me just get these ones. They're inexpensive and they look good. I've tried them on. I wore them on. I wore them with a white dress and I think they're quite comfortable. And I was happy with that. There's another shoe I'd like to talk about. I featured it in my vlog, but I thought I'd mention it here. Um, these are a pair of mid-blazer vintage Nike shoes. I got them off of Depop as well. Um, just follow your favorite influencers. More often than not, they will sell things um, brand new. There's a girl I follow who's well into her trainers and she normally se sends them to you in the box, but the pictures will indicate to you the condition of the shoes. And it depends on who you're shopping from. Some some sellers are trustworthy, some are not. But the girl I follow, I think is, her name is Vanessa. Um, I bought shoes from her before and they're usually brand new. This one, I bought them for £40 and I believe they go for £100 to £90. I would leave a link to the, the I think ASOS sells them. Uh, yeah, and they basically look like this. I got the plain white ones. Last and final item is this bag that I got off Amazon. And it's just a, a, a shopping bag that looks decent. Uh, so if I'm looking to throw things in the bag, I can just wear this without stressing myself. 
and throw them in it's 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 got a plastic um, lining situation um, and I, I really liked how it looked it looked quite expensive and it, it looks better than your little bag Do you get me it looks better than that so I thought I'd buy that the video is finally done if you have stuck with me and you're at this point of the video shout out to you you're a real OG thank you very much anyway I'm gonna end the video here I hope I see you guys in my next video please like the video it helps the video to be pushed to a wider audience uh, leave a comment down below and let me know which were your favorite pieces I will leave a link to my Instagram in the description box as well all items will be there as well and I hope I see you guys in my next one did I mention you need to subscribe come on you're here already so just I'll give you two seconds it's free anyway I hope I see you in my next video bye